Hi viewers, welcome you all to our YouTube channel. Thank you for your support. This video explains you about required length and breadth for 400 meter standard track, calculation of curb line radius KLR and running line radius RLR for 400 meter standard track, 400 meter standard track set out measurement and how to measure the distance on stride. Here we are going to see the required length to lay out a 400 meter standard track. The formula is stride plus 2 into KLR plus 2 into 8 lane width plus obstacle free zone. Here each color identify each distance. Stite 84.39 meters plus 2 into 36.50 meters that is KLR curved line radius plus 2 into 9.76 that is width of 8 lanes plus 2 meters obstacle free zone. This segment explains to you about required breadth to lay out a 400 meter standard track. The formula is 2 into KLR plus 2 into 8 lanes width plus obstacle free zone. Here each color identify each distance. 2 into 36.50 meters KLR curve line radius plus 2 into 9.76 meters width of 8 lanes plus 2 meters obstacle free zone. To lay out a 400 meter standard track with 8 oval lanes, the required length is 178.91 meters and width is 94.52 meters. This segment explains to you about calculation of curb line radius KLR and running line radius RLR. The 400 meter standard track straight is 84.39 meters. Two straights are 168.78 meters. To find out the two bends distance, we have to subtract the straight distance from 400 meters. The two bends distance are 231.22 meters. Here we have to find out which radius will give 115.61 meters semicircle circumference and 231.22 meters circle circumference. So we have to find out the radius. When we connect the two bends, we get a circle. The circle circumference is 231.22 meters. We have to find out the radius by using circle circumference formula 2 pi r. 2 pi r is equal to 231.22 meters. 2 into 3.1416, this is the pi value suggested by World Athletics into r is equal to 231.22. 6.2832 into r is equal to 231.22. r is equal to 231.22 divided by 6.2832. The answer is 36.799. The running line radius RLR is 36.80 meters. By subtracting 0.30 meters, we will get KLR, curve line radius. The curve line radius is 36.50 meters. This is the KLR, 36.50 meters. And this is RLR, 36.80 meters. Here you can see the 400 meter standard track set out measurement. Length of parallel strides 84.390 meters. Construction radius of semicircle bend 36.500 meters. Radius of measurement line in lane 1 36.800 meters. Length of each bend on construction line 114.6681 meters. 
लेंथ ऑफ ईच वन अलॉन्ग रनिंग लाइन 115.6106 मीटर्स लेंथ ऑफ ओवल ट्रैक ऑन कंस्ट्रक्शन लाइन 398.1163 मीटर्स एंड लेंथ ऑफ ओवल ट्रैक अलॉन्ग ऑफ रनिंग लाइन 400.0012 मीटर्स The standard 400 meter oval track has two straight and two bends. This is first bend, this is second bend, this is back straight and this is home straight. Here we are going to see the width of the lane and the width of the line. This is the running direction. The width of the lane is 1.22 meters and width of the line is 5 centimeters. See how the distance is measured. This segment explains to you about a few new things in truck marking. Lane numbers with the height of 50 centimeters. Line immediately one meter before the finish line with the three centimeters with an 80 centimeters length. This is a start and finish. This is the direction of running and this is the direction of measurement. The straight line should be measured from the inner edge of the finish line to outer edge of the start line. All the 5 cm towards the running direction. The 2 cm length and 5 cm width block line is marked at the finish line in order to confirm that the camera is correctly aligned and to facilitate the reading of the photo finish image. 